Hello lovely people and welcome to Mystic Love Tarot. I hope you guys are doing good. My name is Aishwarya and today's pick a card is about why your person is not communicating with you. So if there has been communication issues lately, we are going to look at what are their true feelings about you or this connection and why are they keeping distance. Also, will there be communication or will they initiate contact? So basically, this is a person you know or have been in touch with, right? And currently, you are not in contact with them. It could be your ex, a new love interest, a friend you could be inquiring about. So when you choose your pile, think about that person. Before we go ahead, if you like my videos and want to support me, please like and subscribe to my channel to help me come up with more videos. And don't forget to write your comments below so I get to know if this resonated with you. If you want to book a private reading with me, the link is in the description below. The readings are available in English and Hindi. Now guys, these are general readings and energies are subject to changes. So take only the messages that you feel is for you and leave the rest. It could be a message for someone else out there. Not everything will resonate. So please watch this with an open mind. We have three piles here with three different colored stones. We have pile number one with this orange stone. Pile number two with this blue stone. Pile number, pile number three, the red stone. So I always suggest using your intuition to pick your pile. So if you are drawn to a particular stone or a pile, that could be your pick. You can also choose more than one pile if you are drawn to more. And there could be a message for you in there. So let's start with the reading. Welcome to your reading pile number one. Let's see what we have here. Okay. So I am getting two distinct storyline here. One is for those of you who have been in a relationship or dated a person like an ex or a new love interest. And the second one is for those of you who have had a fallout with this person and, and that is why there is no communication or this person is maintaining a distance from you and you don't know why. Uh, it could be a friend. So bear with me while I figure this out. This could be a little time taking. Okay, so let's talk about the Eight of Pentacles. Now, if this is an ex you want to know about, this person is busy with his work. I feel like while you guys were together, financial issues was a factor. Maybe you were working and this person was not quite there. I also feel this could be a person who is young and has started his young adult life. Maybe he has just begun working and he wants to focus all his energies, time and mind in learning and not making a mistake. He wants to be perfect as a, at his job and if this is a friend you are thinking about, the same thing applies uh, to that as well. And this is a very hard working and dedicated person who wants to give his undivided attention to his career or work right now. Now this person could also be mastering a particular skill for his job which takes most of his time. If you are a man watching this and you want to know about a woman, this could be her energy too. So these are not gender specific guys. Uh, for my convenience I am going to say he but this applies to a woman as well. So if you are wondering why this person is not contacting you, it is generally because they are working hard to be successful, to be good at what they do and eventually become financially stable. The Ten of Cups Okay, so I am getting a few messages here. Now for some of you, I feel this person is burdened by responsibilities towards his family. I feel like this person could be the sole breadwinner of the family and he has a large family to look after, which makes him feel more pressured. 
right now and it could be that he finished school or graduated from college and so he's expected to be serious and responsible towards his career. So this person is focused on balancing work and family responsibilities because he really wants to provide for his family. For a few of you, I feel this person wants to achieve this stable family with you, you know, which has financial stability, material and physical benefits, and he has not yet achieved much in his life. So he's working towards creating a secure and safe life for himself right now. Now, let's talk about the High Priest. Now, whoever you are dealing with is an Earth sign. Definitely with these three Pentacle cards, you know, High Priest is Taurus energy. So it could be Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn or you could be an Earth sign. Now, you know how Earth signs are so focused with achieving financial success, wealth, stability, security, material benefits, which is why they are very grounded and practical, very hardworking, committed to their work. And some of them are extremely workaholics. So anyway, with this card, what I'm feeling is that this person is learning a skill related to his work, you know, like they could have been sent to a different city or a state to learn something, or they are the ones teaching a particular skill that they are an expert in. to a group of new appointees or interns in a different branch office for a period of maybe three to six months, you know, something along those lines. For some of you, it could be that this person has enrolled himself for a course in a university outside the country and they have actually moved away. So the communication has been disrupted because of difference in time or schedule. And for a, for a handful of you, this person may be wants to marry you it could be a possibility but whatever it is uh, the communication is stopped because of work uh, they are just focused on nothing but work so we have this card love abounds Whoever you are dealing with, this person has love for you. They have genuine feelings for you. They care about you. So let's talk about the different scenarios that I'm getting. Now, if you are dealing with an ex, I feel they could have been issues with finances, as I mentioned earlier, or they were so busy with work that they didn't give you enough time, which could have caused a rift, you know, maybe a fight, a fallout. It could also be that because they were moving to a different place, so both of you decided you did not want to be in a long distance relationship and you mutually agreed to break up. And if this is a friend we are talking about who is acting a little weird lately, I feel this person has feelings for you. It could also be that they have been in love with you for a, for a long time, but they have not quite, ex they have not been quite expressive, but I feel like some of you already know who I'm talking about. So I feel like this person has kept this a secret, his feelings a secret, and they have not even shared uh, this with someone who is really close to them. So let's talk about moving on. Again, if this is an ex we are referring to, he feels that moving on is the best thing to do for now. There is love there, but they feel like this is the best option for both of you. This relationship no longer serves them. I don't know why, but I'm getting that this connection could have been blocking their individual growth and so they want to move forward. Maybe there was lack of understanding or miscommunication at times.
and if this is a friend i feel this person is seeing you move on with someone else and hence they have decided to let go and move forward in their life because they do not want to ruin the friendship so walking away seems like the best thing to do so with the nurture with this card i'm getting this person is focusing on his growth and success he feels like he needs to nurture the different aspects of his life which might be out of balance according to him and needs more attention if you think this person is moving on with someone else or there's third party involved i absolutely do not see it but if that is the case don't come at me because energies are subject to changes and i say what i feel or what i see if this is a friend or an ex i feel they are using all their energy and time to maybe gain some kind of balance in their life they also know they need to work on themselves because they were not quite efficient in managing the different things in their life maybe they lost out on a work opportunity that could have been important for their growth and success and that could be because they did not give in their 100 percentage something like that I don't know I'm getting this person is very work oriented and I'm getting stability and balance again and again. You know maybe they did not tell you they did not tell you that they are facing difficulties at work or lately they have been troubled with some family related thing so they need to get back on track. so we have broken heart and rest and rejuvenation so i feel at present this person is heartbroken they feel sad and have regrets they feel like they could have lost you or or they could have handled things in a much better way i'm also getting they have too much on their plate right now and they need to take a break and rest they are constantly working towards various goals at once you know like try trying to resolve family issues or get better at their job dealing with sorrow and grief and looking for ways to make more money so all of this is burdening their heart i'm getting they need a time out and that is exactly what they will be working towards this person is making plans and strategies to prioritize things in his life and work towards one goal at a time and i feel he knows he needs to center himself first and when he feels like he can handle things in a much better way he will come to you for some of you i feel if this is a friend he is heartbroken because you are with someone else and for a handful of you i feel this person could have told you about their feelings and you did not you did not feel the same way and they feel rejected and heartbroken so with the indecision card i feel that this person is still at a crossroads and he is conflicted about his past and future i feel with the past he thinks i wish i could have handled things differently and with the future he is hoping to get a chance with you or maybe he is thinking that he can fix things or work things out if this is a friend i feel they are indecisive they think they could have ruined the friendship or should they give up already or if there's a chance for them to redeem themselves so i see a little bit of delay in communication but this person is soon going to come forward to clear things with you if you are not talking to them this person wants to talk to you but uh, they think you are angry or you do not want them in their in in your life and hence they are not reaching out so if this is blocking the communication i would advise you to reach out take the initiative but only if you want to you have free will So if you do not want to do it that's completely your choice. So I think that is it for today group number 1. I hope this resonated with you. If it did please don't forget to mention in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Much love and light. Bye bye.
Welcome to pile number two. If you have chosen the blue stone, this is your reading. So with this four of pentacles, I feel like this is a very new connection we are talking about. This person could have come into your life very recently and sparks flew. You know, you felt like there was a connection. You bonded. Maybe he asked you out and you instantly agreed. You went out on a few dates and got to know each other better. So I'm getting very specific messages here. So this person you are dealing with could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you could be an earth sign with the pentacles being here. I also feel that you are more communicative than this person. I'm getting this person is not very open when it comes to communicating or showing how they feel. So it is like this person is all about creating solid foundations. He is not someone who is pretentious or who would try to impress you by becoming someone else or someone you would instantly like. But, but he is honest, real and genuine in his approach. This person has struggled in his life and when you meet this person, you will feel like they have achieved something in life. Like he is financially secure and stable or, so, or he could have let you believe that. So when I say he, I'm talking about the masculine energy, you know, who that is in your connections, take as it applies. So I so I am strongly getting that this person is hiding something and you would have felt it too. I'm getting one more, one more storyline here. I feel like some of you could have met online and bonded quickly. You could be texting all day long, getting to know each other and kind of feeling that attraction towards this person. It could have been really good for a few days and then suddenly you feel like this person is not giving you as much time as he did before. Or like he's giving all kinds of mixed signals. One day he is texting you and the next he doesn't call or text you for days. So I feel like this person is very sneaky or there's something you don't know. The tower. So of course with this card I feel like the truth did come out. There was the sudden illumination that could have disrupted everything in this connection. For some of you I feel like this person was not who they said they were. You in communication that is the reason you are watching this video right? So I feel like this person could have been dealing with financial issues but they pretended like like they were rich or very secure financially whereas they could have recently lost their job or maybe living with their parents that could be for a few of you but uh, for a majority of you either they were married and had kids or they were already dating somebody and you could not and you could have been the third party so when you found out this could have shaken you up because you did believe that this was a strong connection you had with this person. Now I did say that this person seems to me as honest and real and if you do not want to deal with married men then it is absolutely your choice. But okay, just hear me out. So when they, they met you, so what I'm getting is felt a strong deep attraction that they have not felt before and they wanted to be with you and because they were hiding something I feel like they could not open up to you and fully express their emotions because they were scared that they might lose you so I'm not saying whatever this person did was right but I do not feel the energy of lie or deceit Rather, it's, it's more of being concerned and being afraid. So I just feel like this person could not come up with the truth because of how much they like you. You know, we are all humans and we make mistakes. So if you feel like you can give this person another chance, maybe you should think about it. Only if you want. If you do not want to do it, don't do it. It's all up to you. 
So the princess of pentacles, okay? Let's move forward. So I feel like this person sees you or this connection as very special. They feel like you are of value to them. And I'm also getting that this person wants to create a stable foundation with you. You know, stability. So look at how this girl is looking at this pentacle. And so I'm getting that this person feels this connection has the potential to turn into something beautiful. And this person is contemplating on how to get you back. They know that they have uh, broken your trust, you know, like they messed up. But I feel like they are willing to fix everything for you. This person is looking for ways to establish something of significance in this connection. And they genuinely look at you as someone they want long-term success with. Now, Journey is calling out to me. So let's talk about this card. So I feel currently this person is going through a lot in his life. And journey to me signify major shift or making a move. So surely this person is making a move towards you. But as you can see in this card, this person has a lot of baggage. Baggages from the past. And this person is ending a lot of things in his life to start something new with you. They want a new beginning with you. They want to begin a new journey with you. I'm getting when you met this person, they were going through a lot emotionally and financially. Maybe they were not happy in their marriage or dealing with monetary loss or maybe because of family issues or personal issues, they couldn't focus at work and did not get the promotion they were hoping or the project they were working on so hard did not get the success it deserved, you know. So you know how sometimes we are in negative patterns and we do not know how to break it because we are so drained and our energy is blocked and so it becomes like a never-ending cycle and I feel like they see you as this lamp like a guiding light who showed them a new path they see you as the person who showed them to take charge and walk in a new direction you know they got to no, they need to end things that aren't making them happy. They need to break free and that is what they are doing. Financial constraints. So this card best depicts how they feel right now. Dark, gloomy and a mess. They know they need to get back on track and find balance within themselves. And if this person was married, he would definitely end it and maybe a good part of his money will go, go towards child support. If he was seeing someone else, I feel like he will end that connection. Or if he was dealing with financial constraints, he might look for a better job or maybe look for a career change, you know, something like that. Now, this person wants to offer you stability and security. So he knows he needs to work hard towards creating a strong, solid, secure environment for this connection to last. Healer of the Ages This card is all about healing yourself. So I feel this person has gone through a lot of emotional upheavals in his life because of which their energy is blocked. They feel drained, exhausted physically and mentally. They might be dealing with overthinking, lack of confidence, stress or a major health issue. And this person is currently going through a lot of transformations in his life which requires him to heal in order to feel balanced and to clear his chakra which will give him more strength and power to deal with his situation. Healing will also enhance his confidence and give him courage to find solutions to his problems easily. So when this person practices healing, his outlook towards things will change and he will become more open to giving and receiving love and compassion in his life. And right now this person feels he has lost you. So he needs to go through a lot of healing process in order to get that perspective about you and about this connection. So we have a very positive cards here. 
These three cards are very positive. It's well-deserved rewards, sacral chakra and coming together. So let's talk about well-deserved rewards. So I feel in the near future, you will see this person succeeding in all his goals. He has worked very hard on himself and his life. So when this person approaches or comes for a second chance, you will notice the changes in him and how his efforts have paid off. This person will rise from the ashes like a phoenix. So if you feel this connection is over, this person is going to come back as a completely new person to win, to win you over. And this time you will see how honest, real, genuine his efforts are. And if, the, if there are delays, that's because he is taking care of his mess. So as you can see in this card, this person has finally created something stable for himself. And you can see the yellow light behind this person. So this person is in balance. So when this person becomes stable, I feel he will come to you with an offer, something long term. I'm getting this person has found himself, which he had, which, which he lost in the process because of all that was going on in his life. So all I would say is that be patient, this person is coming back after turning his life around. So we have sacral chakra. So this card is associated with physical intimacy, creativity, love, relationships, emotions. And this person is extremely attracted to you physically, I feel. They just want you in their life. So as I said, this person wants to create something with you. It could be they want to maybe get married to you or they want to have a family with you. Like I've always, like I've already mentioned, this person believes that together you can create something amazing. So they will definitely come forward. And we have three twos here. We have two here, we have two in coming together and we have two in this journey card. Twos are all about balance and partnership, which is kind of the theme of this reading, I feel. And a number two could also be of significance to you, or they could contact you in two days, or maybe two weeks, two months. And we have coming together. Now, this is the Two of Cups card in this deck. So this means love, partnership, togetherness, union. So this person sees you as his equal, his other half. He really has love for you even if he has not expressed it to you yet. But I'm getting this person is going to come in with the confession of love very soon. Look at how they have created something together. And now they will. they seem to cherish it and to protect it. So I feel like your connection has the potential to create magic. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so wait a minute. So I'm strongly getting soulmate vibe here. So if you have doubts about this connection, this person is going to reach out pretty soon. And that could be your soulmate. So that is it, group number two. You have now you have got the blue stone and blue is for the throat chakra so issues with communication came out in this card so i think both of you need to work on your throat chakra anyway thank you for watching and i hope this resonated with you do write down in the comment section below much love and light bye bye Welcome, pile number three. For those of you who have chosen the red stone, this is your reading. So let's see what your person feels about this connection. So I feel like this is a very pretty, this is a pretty, I feel like this is a pretty straightforward reading here. The Five of Cups. So 
so whoever we are dealing with is detached i mean when you met this person they could have ended a long-term relationship or they have just recently ended a marriage and that is why there is a sense of loss disappointment sorrow and grief you could be dealing with the water sign cancer pisces scorpio or it could be an air sign libra Aqu aquarius and gemini or it could be your sign now with these two cups at the back i feel this person has strong attachment and bond with you but but he refuses to accept this because of emotional baggages that he has been carrying i feel this person is quite sensitive and emotional loyal as well as dedicated so it could be they have been in only meaningful relationships that could have lasted more than 2 years this person cares about you but i feel they do not want to invest their energy time emotions into this connection right now because they know relationships take a lot of effort so they do not want to commit to something serious so i'm getting this person wants to be single and maybe get to know you or hang out with you as friends because they do have attachment to you but definitely if you think this could turn into something romantic pretty soon then you will be disappointed because this person seems like he's cold and detached or this could be your energy but i'm picking up more about the masculine energy so when i say he i'm talking about the masculine energy in this connection so take as it applies if you are the masculine in this connection it could be you who is detached and cold towards this other person now the princess of sword so with this card i feel a strong feminine energy the feminine can see through the truth the feminine here can see through the truth she clearly knows what is going on so if you are the feminine in this connection you are much more open and expressive in terms of communication than this person also you are more open to receiving love and compassion than this person this person is really closed off right now so it could be because they are still energetically tied to the past for some people for others of you i feel this person wants to keep his options open or maybe explore or engage in casual dating and i sense you have a clear understanding of all of this this card to me is all about cutting through the crap and clearly looking at the truth the person you have been dealing with has been in and out of your life adding to the doubts you already have about them and i think this feminine has taken taken a decision that she is not going to chase him rather she is going to move forward in her life she is tired of his inconsistent behavior and thus she is going to focus on herself and her goals and aspirations now this card is also about being goal driven so i feel she is not going to sit and overthink or stress about it she will work towards reaching her goals when you look at these two cards you can see the two people are looking in different directions i feel that is what is going on in this connection the ace of cups now this connection has the potential to become something much more fulfilling with the water overflowing now this card talks about new beginnings in love deep down i feel both of you are aware that this is a very satisfying and fulfilling bond that you have created with each other and i'm also getting this person doesn't want to hurt you or deceive you they do feel connected to you maybe they are even attracted to you at a deeper soul level but they are just not ready to do all the hard work so maybe they are just lazy or very exhausted from their previous relationship 
let's talk about magician and the mirror So I feel like both of you are mirroring each other right now. You both are focusing on yourselves. You are waiting for the other person to reach out and hence there is no communication. Both of you could be feeling that the other person has moved on but you are constantly on each other's mind. And with the magician card I feel you have the power to turn things around and create your own reality. But both of you are holding back. And with this yin and yang energy, I feel this could be a soulmate or a twin flame connection. I also feel that you could be very different from one another or opposites of one another. And that's why there's a strong magnetic pull between you. And I feel like the feminine is more balanced and standing in her power whereas the masculine is lost and needs to find balance within him, within himself and with this limbless gate on the magician's head i'm getting a feeling that this could be a divinely guided connection or you, or you have had past lives together Also, I believe both of you are constantly manifesting each other through dreams, prayers, positive affirmations. So this is very interesting. We have the attachment card. So... This card is filled with darkness, sadness, and you can see this woman being in chains. I feel this is what the masculine is going through. There is sorrow, a feeling of loss, gloominess in this card, and five is the number of instability, so I feel the masculine is dealing with unhealthy attachments. This person has a lot of emotional baggages from the past, and thus he feels like he is in shackles. Maybe he was with a toxic partner or his relationship was very demanding and he had to wear a false mask in his previous relationship or his past relationship was very codependent. So presently this person still has unhealthy attachment to his past which he needs to let go and this person knows very well that it is absolutely his choice to break free of this negative attachment cycle. I only like this person gives his all to a relationship and that is the reason he has to deal with issues relating to attachments, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual. They get attached too easily, I feel. Door to value. This card gives me a feeling that both of you are focusing your energy into your work and career. Both of you will be presented with a new opportunity for material growth and success and you will grab that opportunity and you are looking for monetary gain or enhancing your skills. You could be given a new job offer or uh, that could pay you more and because of the mirror effect being at play, you are fixated on working hard to improve your finances. You are working towards financial stability and security. And if you have your own business, you will be provided with the opportunity to expand or collaborate with collaborate, which will prove to be quite successful and beneficial for you in terms of finances as well as your, the growth of the business. We have observed. Now this card talks about delays. So I feel there will be issues with communication for a while. So this card also talks about taking a step back, reflecting and observing. So I feel both of you need to look at the situation or connection from a fresh new perspective. Maybe this new outlook will shift your energies and bring the change you desire. So remember right now you are the magician and you have the power to create anything you want. I'm also getting do not rush things. 
let it flow naturally if you are the feminine you are constantly focused on why this is not happening or what will be the outcome of this connection do not push it let things happen the way it is supposed to by forcing the outcome you desire you will only create more blockages in this connection so i feel like the feminines need to be patient bring in your lighthearted energy and enjoy the present moment in this connection change your approach view the situation differently and then you will notice how things are moving in a positive direction so this person is working on releasing all kinds of fears and insecurities that he has in his mind regarding this connection so releasing or letting go is a process that really takes time but this person is willing to change himself and as soon as we release ourselves from negative patterns and cycles healing automatically begins so this person is going to heal himself from doubts fears insecurities emotional detachment which is going to bring in more positive changes in his life and i feel this person also feels guilty for his behavior towards you this could be for some of you uh, maybe they have not been treating you very well or they were mean to you or for being aloof and detached you know with the whole i don't care or i don't give a shit attitude that you had to put up with they will also feel like they did not value you the way they should have and thus they don't deserve you because you have always been kind and understanding towards them so this person is working on changing for the better it might take a while but they will get through this the heart chakra this person is surely going to clear his heart chakra which is all about love compassion emotions and appreciation this person's heart chakra is blocked and that is why we had the five of cups we have attachment here we have observe and release so in the near future this person will find balance within his heart and will be more open to giving and receiving love i feel like this connection will have a positive outcome this person is going to come forward to express how he feels he will be sweet he will be gentle very appreciative and kind and you will see him being sensitive and emotional towards you this person could also be going through major transformations and realizations which is why there is a delay but i get a strong feeling this person is going to come forward once he finds his courage and strength so if you think it is over so be patient you are getting a new beginning with this person so see we have 13 and 31 so i feel like this is like mirroring each other and this adds up to 4 and we have 3 4 here you know with this card and this 4 and this 4 so it could be for weeks or for months before you get your new beginning but this person could also contact you in 4 days or maybe you would do it because i feel both of you miss each other but it's up to you again this again you have free will so if you do not want to do it don't do it but if you feel you're guided to initiate the process then go for it or four could be a significant number for you So that is it for today pile number 3 I hope you liked this video and if this resonated please please mention in the comments below much love and light thank you for watching bye bye